Consider this your dead sec initiation, Retro. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to bypass Bloom security doors and get inside. Then find and erase your personal CTOS profile. Whatever they have on me, it's all bullshit. And I'm sick of getting harassed for it. All the more reason for a purge. We'll be watching. Try to keep up. It's me! Right here! You're wasting your time. He's not in. Gotcha. So that's him. He's got a gun. Is that a problem? Well, problems are why you keep me around, right? Time him. I'm curious. Too late. He's in. Already? Don't say I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> no synonyms either. Give me a real answer. I'm just not that into aliens or video games. It's not just any alien. It's oh come on. Anyone else having a problem with their phone? Ooh, what? Oh god, oh god! Retro. 
The home domain awareness hacker? That retro? Yes. We told you that already? Yeah, I never listened. What's his deal? He was raised in Oakland, but was born in... <laughs> his deal is, he's been hanging around the DedSec IRC, and he's got cred. Figured we'd give him a test drive. On the hardest difficulty, nobody's been able to delete their CTOS profile before. I want to see if he's smart, stubborn, or both. CTOS tagged him as a prime suspect in a high-tech murder, so... He's done time? Community service. Not enough evidence. Just the word of CTOS's predictive algorithms. Uh, once in the system? Always in the system. Holy shit! <laughs> he went for it! You won't have much time before the backups kick in. Going in the hot aisle. It's at least 120 degrees in there. Give the man props. He's going the mile.
Nobody's gotten that far. This is like the secret cow level. Why's my threat so high? This is bullshit. I could just... I'm gonna drop a little back door into the system so I can get back inside later. Sorry, Bloom. We've got unfinished business. He's heading out. Bag him. Yeah.
There. Help him. Where the fuck am I gonna go? Josh! Okay, okay. Fuck you, Bloom! In 2013, Chicago realized the promise of smart cities with CTOS, a citywide operating system merging big data with surveillance, security, and transit programs. With a few hundred lines of code, hackers were able to hijack its central servers and cripple the entire grid. Many believed the attack would be a killing blow for smart city development. They were wrong. Coordinated from the heart of Silicon Valley, CTOS 2.0 has been implemented across the United States, ushering in the Internet of Things. 6.4 billion connected devices now serve as collection points, mapping and recording our daily routines, making a more secure and more invasive system. But who else is listening? Big Brother no longer works alone. Thousands of little brothers monitor and aggregate your every move, building a complete digital profile of you to be bought, sold, or stolen in an instant. Toys study your children, reporting their play habits back to marketers. Appliances, consoles, and home security systems give corporations a window into your private life. Control of your vehicle and mobile device can now be breached remotely by anyone at any time. You may think that you are immune or underestimate the risk, but your digital shadow is already compromised. Insurance companies use algorithms to monitor your life habits and limit or deny coverage. Health providers determine if your cancer is worth treating. Search results and news fees are skewed to bias mood and influence your vote, engineering social uprisings on a massive scale. You are now less valuable than the data you produce. Data you produce. This is the new reality. Going dark is no longer an option. With threats to personal freedom rising, many are stepping forward. Whistleblowers, activists, and hackers have drawn their battle lines, putting the establishment on watch. But are they threats themselves, or have they become freedom's last line of defense? Freedom's last line of defense. So, am I in? Welcome to Dead Sec. I'm Satara. This sweetheart is Josh, AKA Hot Sauce. Yo, you're Hot Sauce? Yo, man, I loved your frat house hat. Real talk. Thanks. This weirdo's wrench. The needs of the many. And this Casanova is Horatio. What's up, brother? Mm -hmm. It's the crew, huh? Took y'all long enough to come get me. Shit. You saw Bloom's bullshit. CTOS isn't just regulating infrastructure. The amount of personal data that thing is collecting is fucking mind-blowing. Yeah. It's Big Brother and Little Brother all rolled up into one. Huh? Sees everything you do and tells on you. Thank you, Josh. So what's the fix? Sledgehammers and fire. No! Sledgehammers on fire. Oh, <laughs> All of that data in one place means they can reject your fucking application before you click on it. Congratulations, you have been pre-rejected for our credit card. Or your house, or your insurance. That's not even the worst case scenario. All that data in the hands of the government? 
They'll arrest you for shit before you even do it. Yeah, I've been there. Now I fucking know why. Man, fuck it! Fuck it, man. We're hackers. We, we out think, we out dare. I, I say we tear down the fucking wall. Hey, show everyone what, what Bloom's up to, man. Show, show the world that their personal data is being used to rob them of their fucking freedoms. Fuck. I installed a back door, so all we gotta do is walk right through. Hold on. You what? He installed the back door, so all we have to do is walk through. Bingo. Hey, man. Did you at the time? Yeah, yeah, man. I, I got it. I got it. It's kind of late for a night run, isn't it? Hey, what are you, what are you running from the cops? <laughs> Maybe I am one. Hey, you, you look familiar. <laughs> Have a good party. <laughs> Fucking king this motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck you, Bloom. I'm gonna go have a goddamn good time. Hello? Whose phone is this? It's your new phone. Where is my phone? In the ocean, where you threw it, I think. I don't remember. I was pretty smashed. Look, meet us at the hacker space. Where? Check your pics and figure it out. Place am I in? I guess I was lit, huh? <laughs> like Mardi Gras. Yo! Go get yourself something to wear, direction. and I'll tell you where to go next. Oh, and you'll need your phone ready for operations, so hit the store and download your apps before you get here. Damn, walk of shame on my first day.
Walker. Get out! Not my... me off! Why would I do that? I got I got a pair of pants on the internet, and they were perfect. But you know, I don't know. You never know. You just have to try it, and you learn. You learn from your mistakes. It just pisses me off. You know? I mean, do you, do you know what I mean? Hey, uh, you can change in the back. Have a good one. Well, I actually live on Knob Hill.
everyone's okay. All right, Sitar, so where you at? Sending you the location and the passcode for the door. Stay calm. We have you on CTOS. Police will be there shortly.
mierda! Santo cielo! Oh, I'm so sorry. Your deck is trash. You've got too many cards. Here, look. Get rid of all your Wetlands cards. Your monsters there are all garbage, and you're only getting a plus one synergy bonus. You should be drawing plus three in, like, under four turns. Oh, hey! So, I rolled a 12 and just barely made a hit, but it was enough. My paladin was down to one life before I was able to heal everyone with a prayer for divine intervention to my deity, Arneson. Hi. Yo! Finally. So Josh and I spoke, and fucking over Bloom has been a long-standing project. All right, you need two things to take down Bloom. You need to get people to rally behind your cause and separate you from the trolls. And we need bots, and a lot of them to handle the data CTOS is processing. Thank you, Josh. We spent all night modifying our app so you can get followers to download the app, and we can use their processing power for the cause. Oh, this is happening? It's really happening? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, this is happening. You better get to it. <laughs> Hell yeah, man! Barbarians are at the gate and ready to bust some Roman heads. Yeah, we're gonna focus on some high-profile ops, play them for exposure and laughs to get people to download our app. Mm -hmm. All right. Don't worry. So that was something fun. <laughs> Marcus! <laughs> Check you out. Alive and dry. I wasn't sure after your moonlight swim. Come here. You've got to check this out. Behold. Our very own open source research app. So, like, all of us here pool vulnerabilities that we find, and we encourage everyone to share their work, their research, etc. Okay, so what's the research app do? Widen our skill set? Make us irresistible to the gender of our choice? What, so it's like a I know kung fu kind of deal? If kung fu was a gender and not so 1999, absolutely. Behold, the wonders of technology. A 3D printer? This is the army of printers. It is capable of pumping out an arsenal of lethal weapons down. Seriously? Yep. Once you master it, voila! Hipster merchant of death. All good, except I'm no hipster. <laughs> you keep telling yourself that. Now try to make something. But don't blow us up.
I'm the best, baby. Hey, I just gotta tell you, you look fabulous. Good to have another brother here. Hey, good to be here, man. Are you all hackers? Yeah, kind of a basic requirement to get invited into the hacker space. But we all have our specialties, like Josh over there. Always building shit that shouldn't work. Now he's trying to build this big ass drone. And Wrench? Good engineer too, but better at breaking shit apart. And yo, Satara? <laughs> Sis got skills as an artist and a graphic designer. Without her, dead sex walking around without a face or voice. What about you? What's your superpower? Tactical coordinator or cat herder. Take your pick. I make dead sex go where it has the most impact. You heard of Prime 8? Those are some real dirty hacking motherfuckers. Yeah, I've brushed up against them before. It wasn't pleasant. All right, that's what I like to hear. Link up with me when you're ready to do this, and I'll fill you in. There's always someone running ops against Prime 8. Bet they'd love your help. It's something, right? This whole place is something. We used to keep track of news feeds on here, but now it's our follower wall. So it knows if we're trending? No, no, no. It's based on hard values. How many people downloaded our app, how much processing power we have access to, you know. Nice. And speaking of which, we're downloading the DeadSec app into your phone as we speak. When it's ready, open it up, click the suggested op, and hit the park outside so we can test it. Sounds good. One more thing. I put a reminder on your phone so you remember what we're gunning for. Get enough processing power to take down Bloom. Can't stop me. The wrench. <laughs> Man, what to say about this guy? The spiritual organization New Dawn is accusing Oakland City Councilor Miranda Kamei of defamation. In a recent interview, the councilor had described the organization as, quote, a fraudulent pyramid scheme. The organization seems to have fought back with more than just lawyers. The counselor's private life was recently revealed when medical records of the counselor's transgender treatments were mysteriously released to the media. A spokesperson for New Dawn said that the organization had nothing to do with the leaked medical records and in her statement accused Counselor Kamei of desperately seeking attention. The original Chicago DedSec has coordinated operations, everybody mostly working towards the same goal. Rumors say that the leaderless group actually has somebody upstairs calling the shots. The Council of Daves. I can't say if it's true or not, but somebody's focusing their efforts. I know because I studied everything about them, even ran a few of their ops. I wanted to emulate them, try to figure out what worked for them and apply it to us. But the members of our Bay Area DedSec couldn't be more different from each other. Now, if there was a spectrum spanning anarchists to activists, we'd probably feel the whole damn thing. But there's one thing that unites the key crew. Each one of us has reason to hate big data, or more specifically, Bloom and its CTOS. I've been overseeing operations, making sure people get to where they need to be with the tools they require. I've got eyes on the big picture. The way I see it, I've lit the fuse. It's only a matter of time before Bloom feels the dead sec explosion. Yo, 
I can't believe my hand slipped. It must have been an earthquake. There's no other way I'd have messed up like that. I had to completely strip the paint off and then start from scratch. Ugh, it sucked. But I gotta say, my miniature army is going to look amazing. The app's downloaded and I'm in the park. What am I testing? Start profiling things around you. People, devices. See what you can pull from them. That's what helps us figure out our next ops. And running ops that are important to people is how we get them interested in DedSec. The more followers download our app, the more intel we get. It's the circle of life. Oh, and see if you can find some components to help us with our research. Hipster merchant! <sighs> the app is your data mining tool. Of death. Okay, okay, I got this. So what now? Up to you, man. You're free to do whatever catches your eye. We post ops to the DedSec app, and doing them helps us get followers. And followers are our Skrilla. Followers mean computers, which boosts our processing power, which lets us do bigger and better ops. Hey, so what's this about Bobo Dakes? You know Bobo's working on a new album, right? Yeah, I heard. Well, you won't get to hear it? Motherfucker Gene Carcaney just put millions on the table to keep it all to himself. What does a big pharma CEO want with a rap album? Dude has a huge Bobo collection. And he probably wants to hang that shit on his wall like a damn trophy. It's just rubbing his money in our faces, bruh. Do you know if Bobo took the deal? He hasn't announced anything yet, but he will. It's a lot of cash. And maybe there's still time for an intervention. Time for what? I assume you guys have heard of Gene Carcani? He's the shit sack who's on TV laughing about how he's raising the price of leukemia medicine. Yeah, the most hated man in America? Yeah, why do you ask? Guy's a huge Bobo Dakes fan. Must have read Bobo's in town recording new tracks, because he's offering millions to keep the album to himself. So stupid. Bobo will never go for it. The real one won't. So we're gonna do it for him. I'm gonna visit Bobo and see if I can borrow some of his new tracks as proof that we're legit. How do we contact Karkani? I need you guys to run through interviews, podcasts, whatever. Find me some usable lines. We're gonna make a soundboard. Ooh, I love this.
Oh, yeah, sweet. Hey, don't watch it without me. <laughs> Meet you at the hacker's base. I'm on my way. Coming up after the break, we'll be sitting down with a former street artist. Sweet T, as he's known in the community, is here to promote a new book of his art and a brand new fashion line, including t-shirts, caps, and bling. Very exciting stuff. seen the trailer for the new Jimmy Siska movie? No, it's out. Hey, hey, pull it up, no, man. No, 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 not on this. For this, we need perfect sound. We need a big screen. We need to be comfy. You're right. We need quiet. Have you seen it yet? No, nah, man. I waited for you. You're the best. Thank you. All right, everybody, we're going to watch the trailer. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. In a world where technology connects everything. I'm not looking for justice, goddammit. One man prowls the information superhighway. In search of cyber justice. I'm looking for cyber justice. Simple line of code could devastate the whole world. It's gonna be a cyber caster. Cyber driver. Hit him with the code flurry, Chip. Jimmy Siska is. Got no choice, kiddies. Follow me or die. Devon Von Devon. We gotta get these hackers somewhere safe. They aren't hackers, Devon. They're just script kiddies. Hey, the car answered. This ain't your mama's smart car. I think next time we're gonna need a higher firewall, pal. Cyber, Cyber driver. Action hero, badass. Talking car, admit it, Josh. The car is cool. You know what I'm thinking? We cut our own version of that trailer. And that car is going to help us do it. Real? It wouldn't have us a ton of followers. No, first, Josh and I will go to the studio to get that script. We'll look around and see what other gems they have about death sec, and we'll look for the car. All right, so what's the deal here? Are we, are we issuing an advisory? No, why would we do that? They'll just patch the holes. No, uh, let them. Don't worry, cyber child. Oh, don't. Hacker movie's gonna get hacked. HMP Studios, we are holding you solely responsible for the threat that is cyber driver. Cheesy stunts and bad dialogue, we can take. But you've insulted our intelligence, and that we can't excuse. It seems like you could do with a lesson on what hackers are capable of. And since you didn't come to us to learn, we'll come to you to teach. We are launching Operation Hack and Run. We'll show you what hackers can do. We are dead set.
you guys thought that movie was gonna be good? <laughs> well, yeah, sure. They're fun to laugh at. Cool. You said. Uh, did I actually say cool? Here's what we know, Josh. Cyber Driver is shaped up to be a million dollar cyber catastrophe. I know you're trying to get my goats with that word. Uh, I don't want that, man. Keep your goats. Why would Galilei allow their name to be sullied? You mean cyberized? You can keep trying, but it will never be funny to me. I'm not gonna lie. If those scenes were what they chose for the trailer, yeah, the rest of it's gonna be jack shit. And why they chose to target DedSec is curious. Well, Chicago was a big deal. True. Anyway, don't worry. You and me are prowling the information highway to seek out our own cyber justice. Look, Josh, we're gonna have fun with this. And I promise I won't say cyber anymore. You know, after this, the cyber world will never be the same. <laughs> And there it is, Hook Motion Picture Studios.